Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So today we are going to get stuck into a series of palette testing, makeup testing, whatever you want to call it. I am doing it differently this time guys. So bare faced, no makeup on like I usually do. I'm going to work our way the normal way. So guys, I'll only do one eye on camera and may speed it up in parts. And then obviously I will continue the rest of my makeup in fast forward but i'll show you what i'm using today guys we're going to try the revolution and it's the chilled with cannabis sativa um i got this quite recent and i seen the lovely stephanie toms with this and i love the look she created what look am i going to create haven't got a clue i have done some swatches on it as you can see guys so it is a little bit powdery, guys. That is my honest opinion. But the pigment on Revolution, I kind of like. Now, guys, I've gone ahead and used my Freedom Pro Eye Primer. So I have primed my eyes. I have also put some tape on. Let's start off with the shade Leaf. And I'm going to just basically put this all round my eye lid tap out any excess and I'm going to do one eye on camera guys and one eye I'll do off so I'm just going to get used to using my mirror it's such a bad habit I've got guys so I'm just gonna pack that in and then put it into my crease as well guys like so And just take that all the way down guys it's a very very nice color and as you can see quite pigmented just gonna pack that out i'm just gonna take it all the way into my crease guys And just blend that out like so I'm trying to figure out what shade I should go for next because I'm going to cut crease guys so don't worry about any that's on my lid I will cut crease it I'm going to go in for a darker shade now guys so I'm just going to change my brush and just tap out this one and I'm going to go in with the shade plant between plant and natural, but I think I'm going to go with plant. I have swatched plant. It is a really nice colour. It's probably one of the darkest greens in the palette. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit on a flat brush, guys, and just, just tap that out. And I'm just going to go above the crease, guys, all the way. And just darken out above. It just gives you that little shadow silhouette. So I'm not just going to... There is fallout, guys, but because I've not done my makeup first, it's not so bad. So because it's a flat brush, you can just take it into the crease and just take it... Just take it all the way along, guys. You see, so we're just like cutting the crease, but not cutting the crease, if that makes sense. Just so it gives you a little indication to where it is. You've put in the darker shade. <laughs>
fall out but not much I can do about that. Fortunately, you do find that Revolution does have some slight fallout. Now guys, I'm going to darken it on the outside and I'm going to lighten it on the inside. But, I'll just put that there. I'm just waiting for a, a, a message to come through guys. So I've just got to keep my phone on there. Um, <clears throat> I might just need to put a little bit more there. Just a little bit. You'd probably be better using a complete straight edge brush guys here are a lot of ambulances quite scary I hear a lot of them daily okay guys I think that's as even as I'm going to get that I'm going to put that there for now I'm just going to let that dry for a second, guys, while I contemplate where I'm going. So I think I'm going to go with Candyland. I think while this is drying, I'm going to go in with Candyland. Because I was going to go in with Acapulco. Acapulco. And I'm going to go darker on the outside. Now, I'm torn between using the Bud and the Haze and the Candyland. I've also picked up my... P.S. Liquid Duo Shadow. So we could use that as well. So let me just... Let's try this candy line. Now, this is a shimmer. I don't know how well this will be. Let me just pick up my other mirror. Tap it out. And we're just going to go on the inside and just take that along where you've cut crease all the way to the middle. There is a lot of banging going on. I don't know where that's coming from. Hmm. So far, what do I think of this palette? It's not too bad. I don't mind it. There is some fallout from it, guys, but... I'm kind of used to that with the Revolution. As long as you tap it out, I will blend the two in. I kind of like that, but this bit needs softening up a bit here, guys. It's a little bit too dark, so I may go in with the um, Acapulco and go along my cut crease with it. But that it's such a nice shade. Look at that. That is lovely. I really do like that. I may need to just lighten up this a little bit. Maybe if we just blend it out a little bit, guys, just because it is just a tad, tad dark. Let's just see if we can blend it out a little bit. So I'm just going to go in on the other side of my brush in with the Calm, which is a lighter, much lighter gold shade. And I'm just going to take that right into the inner. Take it all the way. And just take it up a little bit. Like so. That is lovely. Kind of like that. In fact, I do like it. I don't kind of like it. I do like it. I'm just going to go back in the candy land, tap that out, and then just go back over. That is so nice, that candy land. It's a gorgeous shimmer. How nice is that? Now I feel like I'm a little bit dark here, so I may have to lighten that up just a wee bit. But before I do that, I'm just, in fact, what I might do guys is just, I'm gonna just lighten up with the calm, just up here and just 
just soften just soften it up a little bit just a tiny bit and then I'm going to blend that out just to soften it up because it's a little bit too dark I mean it's not too dark for me because I like it dark but and then just go back in and just blend that back out again no black in here guys so i'm not too sure how this works let me just have a look Ooh, right so i'm just gonna go in the dark with this black i know it's got nothing to do with that but i am going to add the bud to this as well so if i just take that across So as you can see guys, I'm creating a wing with this duo, but I've also cut crease along there. So as you can see, you've got your tape on, so don't worry about it going anywhere. Now on the opposite side of this is a metallic side. Now I may just try the metallic. I think I may just just soften that line up a little bit. I'm going with the board, which is the dark, dark green. I'm just going to place that on top of the black. So it's the dark, dark shade. I'll show you in a minute. And it's the, um, like the glitter. You are going to get some fallout, guys. So just go slowly. Oh, that's so nice. And then I'm just going to go back over the top with the candy land just to soften up the line between the two. I've got more on my face, guys, than anywhere else. <laughs> okay, so, so far, I do need to go underneath. As you can see, I have some fallout. But I ain't got my makeup on yet, guys. So I do need to do my eyebrows. I need to go underneath, but I'm not going to do any of that because I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to complete the other eye and when we come back, we're going to start our face and I will do the underneath bit last. But so far, so good, guys. So back in a jiffy. Okay, guys. So next bit is going to be fast forwarded. I will show you quickly what I'm going to be using. I'll put some music on. Enjoy. Fit Me 101 Maybelline and we've got the PS Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Coverage cool sand and this one is 101 okay guys let's get on with getting this green covered up
right guys slowly back down just to talk through what we're doing now so i'm using the w7 and it's the cheek trio and highlighter kit i don't bronze as you know guys so i don't see any point in using that i sometimes use the bronze as a blusher because it's quite a nice uh, beigey brown now i actually really like the shades in this um i'm just going to highlight just a bit of my nose because I don't like my nose so I do like to highlight it highlight your cheeks I always highlight the side of my temples and the top of my forehead just to give it a little bit of a shine not too much shine because I'm shiny enough a little bit on my chin and then I will try and blend that out again like so. Okay, guys. So that's the Cheek Trio. I love that palette. It's really good. Two quid, Penland. So the other thing we have to do now, guys, is mascara. Now, I can wear eyelashes. I do have eyelashes. But today, I'm not going to bother. So I am just going to go ahead now and use this Marcel mascara I usually use my eyelash curlers guys but we are pushing for time now while we're on the subject of this I really need you to let me know when I do these eye looks do you prefer me to do it this way where I don't put my makeup on until last and I fast forward that bit I will tell you what products I'm using at the beginning so you don't need me to stop and tell you or would you just like to see the eye look, one eye done on camera, and then I will come back with full face on? You tell me, guys, which you prefer, because the longer I am on, the longer you have to sit and watch. Now, I'm just going to go over the top with my Maybelline, which, again, has the same kind of um, wand, just to maximise just the length. I used to have a vibrating mascara and I loved it. My husband used to buy it me all the time. But then he said he couldn't find it anymore. I think it was from Amazon. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go off camera, come back, finish off with the lips. And we'll discuss my final thoughts on the palette and anything else I may have used today that we've not used in a previous video. Okay, guys, back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Okay, guys, let's finish this off. We've got my green lipstick from my Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and this is the Equality, and it's Equality that we're using. Now, I'm loving green at the minute, I think you can tell. very dry formula this will dry out super super dry and it's fine but you know it's a bugger to get off your lips once it's dry so try again that's better it just stops that drying feeling i like my lips to have that really wet feeling okay guys so guys and this is your complete finished look i will take pictures but i'll let you have a look now tell me what you think now it takes me a while to do my makeup it's just not something i can do slow uh, fast sorry well I do do it slow something I can't do fast I just think 
you make a balls of it when you do that. Now, let's talk about this palette in general. So I do think it's quite powdery, but I do think that about all the tin ones, but the pigment is insane. And I mean, insane. I love the pigment of these and that's why I buy them. If I didn't like the pigment, I would have never bought a second tin, third tin or a fourth tin. And I, just, I do want more of these, but in my colors. Um, but absolutely love this, loved it. On par with the um, Colourpop, yeah. Just that this one, oh, size that bee that's trying to get in here. This one just a tad bit powdery, but if you tap out your brush, it's not too bad. Let's just have a look at what I use today, guys, because you've probably seen, but the camera was um, on fast motion some of the time. There's a bee trying to get in here, it's like that. So I started off with Leaf, which was my contrast base colour. I did actually use my primer on my lids, guys. You might not have seen it. And I used my tape as well. With that, I went in with the plants as my second coat colour, contrasted them both together. And then I did a cut crease on my lid and added the Candyland on the inner. Also with the Calm on the inside just brightening up on the outside of the eye. I actually use the calm on the top of the brow bone as well, just to lighten it up. I take my um, eyeshadow all the way up to the eyebrows. I know a lot, lot of people do, but I do, and I always have done. It's something that I'll always do. I won't change that. Um, I did use the bud, and I also used the PS Duo. This was really, really good. I recommend it. Now, I put the black on first to create the higher illusion of um, a tick but then I padded out the bud on top of that and then I went over it again with the plant now underneath I went with natural and again I went with calm on the inner side and that is pretty much all I use on that one I use the PS pencil really really good I like it's the, the crayon type not the like the actual pencil. And then above, I use the W7 to create another tick on top of the green tick. That is my look today. That is what I went for. My eyebrows, I use the Claritude. Absolutely love this. Guys, so that is um, my Revolution Cannabis um, with Sativa. Passed my test. I absolutely love it. And I love the green contrast, as you know. Um, what do we want to try next, guys? That I'm going to leave to you blood sugar palette and i've got the blue blood i've got the mini jawbreaker palette i've also got three color pop palettes that i need to use i've got the show story that i need to use and i've also got this mua palette that i've got to try out so it's up to you guys it is down to you i've also got the um beauty bay ones as well so pop a comment on below tell me which one you want to see next I'd be interested to know. And um, if you need any information on what products I did use today and you didn't catch it, let me know down below. I also need to know if you prefer me to keep my face bare and build up. If you want me to do my full face on camera or eyes on, face off, let me know. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and um, thumbs up, thumbs down, tally up to you. But that palette has passed my approval. All right, guys, take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.